foggy day in a small town in Northern Ireland, a town awaiting the arrival of 5,000 civil rights marchers. Such visits usually have one ending, the marchers attacked by their enemies, the Protestant extremists, and the police intervening. This time, it should be different. There are no Protestant gangs around, the police are calm. But still, the violence happened. The events at Newry nine days ago virtually discredited the civil rights movement in Northern Ireland. Tonight, Weldon Action sets the record straight. We'll show that most of the people involved were not civil rights marchers at all. In fact, there's no reason why the events of that Saturday should have destroyed the non-violent image of civil rights in Northern Ireland. No reason why it should have meant all change at Newry. Stormont Unionists. Last week, following the Newry riot, the cabinet announced strict new plans for controlling demonstrations and set up an independent inquiry into the discontent. Roy Bradford, the chief whip. I would say that uh, Newry is a kind of watershed in this latest campaign of agitation because for the first time the Buntingites, that is the sort of loyalist extremists, sense themselves completely um, and the police uh, were, who are very sensitive after uh, criticism on previous occasions. And on this occasion, I think it's generally agreed, behaved impeccably uh, so that the violence that ensued and the damage caused was firmly and squarely laid at the door of the demonstrators themselves. In a mere four months since October, the civil rights movement has become the major issue in Northern Ireland, resulting in violence almost everywhere. Londonderry, 54 injured in clashes with police. Belfast, a march from here attacked, 103 casualties. Dungannon, two serious clashes, in one, shots were fired. Armagh, 14 injured in attack on meeting. And then Newry, apparently the end of the line. Seven buses destroyed and 22 people arrested. Straban due last Saturday, but after Newry, everyone withdrew. This is what happened at Newry. Controlled by 400 stewards, the marchers intended to walk down this street, Monaghan Street, until they'd reached the junction at the end by the Savoy Cinema. Then they wanted to turn left, up towards the mainly Protestant quarter of the town. The police refused and began preparing a four-tier barricade of crash barriers, police buses and rows of policemen to make sure they kept out. District Inspector Edgar. Well, <coughs> the police reacted.